Hello Malaysia, good evening. Today is the 27th of, uh, no, tr sorry, 25th of July 2013 and it's a Thursday. So today I'm going to be mellow and I will talk like um, Green Day 0050 which is uh, quite soothing to the ears. Uh, maybe I'll be more subdued because I feel a bit tired and very sleepy. And I'm not talking about Maybank, let's get that out of the way. So today, today I've started uh, watching the first episode of Gundam Seed. I know it's a very old series and it is dear to my heart. Uh, I like the stories there and it is my first Gundam, my first exposure to the Gundam universe. So uh, every time, I mean, it is synonymous with having your first girlfriend, you fucked her and she will always be in your mind and uh, nobody, uh, no girlfriend after her, your first girlfriend would ever replace the f sweet memories of your first fuck so it's the same with Gundam Seed so uh, I, I got the copy of the high quality Gundam Seed courtesy of Baka, Baka Beatty so uh, I had it stored in my computer for a couple of months or so but now today I took the chance and uh, watched the first episode so previously I was like watch I watched the uh, Gundam Seed uh, what using VCD discs so every VCD can contain about 700 megabytes so each VCD has three episodes so it was like a uh, a very very uh, exercise in uh, swapping the disc all the time because I will marathon it marathon marathon through it because it is just pretty good and uh, so I want to like say that uh, I got I think I got exposed to it from my friend uh, let's call him Chichak Chichak is in Malay for lizard and from there I got a, a few copies uh, another friend uh, I, let's call him Sue S-O-O -O, Sue he burned it for me a lot of uh, VCDs back in like 2002 I think 2001 or 2 3 I'm not sure it's been a long long time ago so I'm not sure about the year whether it's the same or not so this uh, Gundam Seed has very good very good soundtrack and also the openings and the endings they are from uh, Japanese uh, pop uh, pop music and back then in Japan I mean uh, Japanese culture was uh, all the rage uh, back in 2000 ish and uh, yeah the music was fine uh, nowadays it's not as popular but I think the music is still fine but it's not as popular over the world as it was in the 2000-ish uh, nowadays they have been dethroned by Korea with uh, the likes of uh, Tiara nice cute girl band and also for of course you would know that stupid uh, Gundam style yes uh, by Sai Korea culture is up and running I don't know what's, the, what's after Korea maybe it's Taiwan or China most likely China maybe uh, I'm not sure about that, but never mind. So the music is very good, and I had goosebumps watching the first episode when Kira Yamato, the star of Gundam Seed, met his uh, childhood friend As As Asran Asran Zala. So, well, that's uh, that's the power of Gundam Seed to me. Uh, yeah. So the music is fine, the animation is fine, the Gundam design is fine as well and uh, as you can see here, this is a Strike Gundam perfect grade box I can buy this for 150 ringgit versus the Bandai version which is definitely definitely more than 500 ringgit 150 ringgit is by GHD which is a very very scary Chinese company that makes quite lousy, lousy copies of Bandai 
uh, Gundam so I did not buy it because uh, there are some reviews out there that says uh, if you want the GHD perfect grade strike Gundam to look like the original Bandai version there will be some work and I'm afraid of the work that comes with it because sanding cutting here cutting there everything else is I mean if you read you are a sadistic bastard then go ahead and buy that 150 ringgit from Bumi Utara toys uh, in section 14 Petaling Jaya so but uh, GHD is so suspect so scary that I think a lot of people just try to avoid it avoid them or avoid buying from a GHD um, I'm not sure about the perfect grade or the master grades but uh, definitely perfect grade uh, should be I think it's alright for the GHD brand because I myself have a GHD branded Gundam which is the Strike uh, Rogue which is piloted by Kagali Yula Af Af Afta yep uh, yes that's it and I'm doing this Strike Gundam 160 no uh, 160 no grade no company Gundam I'm just doing the torso and uh, yeah if the GHD perfect grade strike Gundam is like this I would not like to buy it at 150 ringgit but definitely I will buy it at 90 ringgit it's a lot of work just uh, trying to sand it and whatnot oh yeah that reminds me of like drink a bit talking a lot makes my mouth dry ah. and here you can see some of my artwork uh, scenery I'm not doing any nudes unfortunately for you so damn my room is so cluttered it's almost like an otaku's room and this is my new fluorescent painting very same uh, in the same uh, design or team of these definitely and that's one one of my heaps uh, where I'm trying to prepare myself for my trip to Penang maybe for three nights that depends on the weather and also depending on my mood and this is some manuals for the Gundam strike before I modify it so let's get on cracking with this Gundam seat review reminiscence of the past so this is the box for the perfect grade it looks fantastic because uh, it's a perfect grade okay it is perfect and it's a big scaled version and you can see all this these are quite uh, modern style where the ankle or is it called? sorry the knee can uh, move independently of the leg and the thigh which is uh, thank god is already present in the master grade version with the 2.0 skeleton or inner frame so you will buy a master grade definitely it would move something like perfect grade the only difference is less detail in the master grade and less of a size because the master grades are 1 out 100 and the perfect grade is 1 out 60 so yep what's the next image uh, okay might as well save this even this small and this is a uh, uh, seeing how this perfect grade strike Gundam looks like with some of its uh, armor out and it looks really really good and it can do a squat because it has the uh, heel uh, able to move as well and also it, here the knee section is able to do a 180 whereas the one that I have here is not able to do so because uh, it has no inner frame so uh, poor design that one that one was back in 2000 ish uh, early 2000 so it's not the perfect grade so too bad Next up, we have the perfect grade strike rouge, rouge, sorry, rouge. And uh, since I have this one already, but by GHD, so I'm not sure what kind of a uh, shit fest I would encounter putting this together. But I'm pretty happy to get this unit for 120 ringgit 
from Bumi Utara Toys in uh, section 14 so it is I think it's okay mm, let's save this one as well I always save all of my pictures and this is a <laughs> this is a what you call it uh, Moe Anim of a uh, Kagaliula Af Af Afba what the fuck never mind uh, I think I'll save this one as well even though it's not to my uh, liking maybe so this is the box the original Bandai version looks great with the silver letters uh, mine uh, don't have any silver letters at all so this is the main star which is uh, what's his name uh, Kira Yamato and this is a strike Gundam looks nice looks nice not gonna save it and uh, his uh, childhood friend uh, Aslan Zara and this is the box art for a box art the new one this is uh, made in let's see in 2012 yep 2012 before 2000, 2012 all we had for the models or the master grades or sorry sorry for the 1 hour 100 scale was the no grade versions i don't know about the world no grade versions i think it came out in the year uh, 2000 in ish or to early 2000s uh, don't know whether it has a inner frame or not but definitely i think this new version this 2012 version a redesigned version would have an inner frame so posability with this should be excellent i hope so uh, ages design is pretty nice as well very unique and this one i'm not sure this this one i've never seen this one before actually uh hmm, wearing the zaf unit uniform so let's get on cracking this is the uh, rouge which uh, you can see is rouge is actually a color i think i think it's in f uh, french because french words are so fuckingly hard to pronounce and uh, this one is the iwsp with the iwsp striker pack i think uh, i think that's what it's called and with the shield with the gatling gun i don't like this shield they are fucking hate all these assholes who have modified their cars uh, don't know what the hell they put in there i think it's a supercharger it's fucking assholes it's noisy it's noisy bitches i hope they just go and have accident and die and make sure they don't take anybody along with them especially cars that they have hit or motorcyclists they have uh, smashed into so yeah, this is the, the strike rook with the IWSP striker pack or something. Uh, I'm not gonna get this. Even though it has the Gatling gun on the shield, I do not like the color or the design of it. I prefer the one that I saw in the Goof custom, which is famous in the 08 MS team. So, uh, save this one as well. And here we have uh, Kira with his uh, love interest, forgot what's her name. And at the back you can see Earth and also the Gundam Freedom which will be awesome in Gundam Seed anime. Definitely, definitely awesome. And I have the original version Bandai for my friend Zairi Abdul Muhammad aka Zams. And this is a Bandai version. And then I got that for 90 ringgit from or courtesy of Toys R Us in Mid Valley. So next up we have the other four unique Gundams piloted by Zaf teenagers. I don't know why they love teenagers uh, because maybe they are seeds or whatever. The Blitz looks quite um, very 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 unique in design and its special powers would be maybe the spike spike missiles only three of them uh, unfortunately i think they are very fast and uh, should be very fast because it's spiky and you can see the afterburner or the funnel where the exhaust comes out uh, but the this this these i don't know what they call uh, spike missiles uh, i don't think they pack punch because it's too small and I uh, don't think uh, there will be enough uh, chemicals or explosives inside them to make a big bang unless it's a nuclear uh, nuclear device so 
but uh, to my knowledge it's not a nuclear missile so this looks okay I'm gonna save it and next this one is a custom design uh, of the blitz and this one looks actually quite beautiful with the wings I don't know what the hell they are I don't know where they are from but if I get to see this if I see this unit uh, and it's cheap from of course not from Bandai if it's Bandai it will be 150 ringgit around there uh, I would actually get it the ones from TT only or aka go go Mm -hmm. let's see and we have the other Gundams uh, this is the Buster the Buster is unique as well the color uh, color is unique and his headpiece is pretty unique and his crotch has two flashlights which is unique as well and that's the uh, reason why people must get this because who doesn't love flashlights for balls oh sorry balls for flashlights and two big guns and who doesn't like two penises ask any girl they like two penises okay this is buster and uh, let's save this one even though it's a small picture and this is the no grade bandai buster gundam which were in mark in the market for such a long time until in 2012 they redesigned the buster gundam so I guess it has an inner frame now and uh, this is the box art for this Buster Gundam and it looks really awesome and at the back you can see why is he fighting with the orbs with the this one here is ashtrays and I think what the hell is this uh, is this do I'm not sure it looks blue I'm not sure not sure yeah the Buster has no shield so that's the only Gundam which has no shield, if I'm not mistaken. Or sorry, Aegis has a shield as well, a small one, but this Buster has no shield. I guess it's a long range unit with its bloody big cannon. Okay, I guess uh, this one is Astray, and this is Astray, and this is Astray as well. You can see that the crotch is very, very protruding out and very big. So it is, it is an ashtray, but it's not the M1 ashtray that I like, the red one, the one with the katana. This one is the normal version. So I just love this uh, design art box and uh, you can see here 2012 made in Japan. I have to like copy this image. So if I see this one, definitely I will buy it. Not from Bandai of course. And this is the Aegis, uh, Atran Zara's uh, unit, and this one, the shield sure looks big here. I think maybe I was wrong. Maybe the shield is quite big on the Aegis. And it has a very unique uh, design, and all the units by Atran Zara, all of them are either violet red or purplish reddish. Because after this ages, after it was destroyed by, uh, destroyed by who? Strike Gundam, I think. Yeah, destroyed by Strike Gundam. Uh, he he got his uh, infinite Gundam, I think, or was it something else? Uh, or was it the Savior Savior Gundam first, or was it infinite Infinite Justice? Okay, I think he got the. The fighter version uh, savior then after he got busted if I'm not mistaken then he got the nuclear powered one which is uh, justice and after that he got uh, infinite justice uh, I think he got like four Gundams this as Afran Zala I think four four units he's got the ages okay he's got ages he's got the savior He's got the Justice and uh, he's got the Infinite Justice which is a uh, uh, encompassing Gundam Sea Destiny anime as well which uh, I would prefer not to watch but I just have to because it completes the series. Okay, uh, did I save this? I think so. Mm, yep, I saved it already. Next one is another Art of Ages, and this is the Blitz, this is a new art, uh, 2012 Bandai version of course, looks really fine here, of, although there's a lot of, uh, 
I don't know what they call these effects, uh, light flashes or something. I forgot the name already. It's a brain freeze that I'm having. It's something like uh, that uh, movie director loves to use. Uh, what's his name? Yeah, the one who directed Cloverfield, I think, uh, or produced it, uh, who made that Lost series, TV series. And also the other one, the I forgot already, the one with Bishop, a crazy scientist who was in asylum, I forgot the name already. Or regarding that, that, that TV series with uh, Bishop, that one, uh, I only watched the first three seasons and uh, it got into a really X-File type of uh, format. Of course, that makes me like it, but after the third season where the, uh, the Bishop's son uh, I think he died or was it he was like connected to a machine and got somewhere and after that the next season a lot of rumors says that he's not around and stuff like that I just stopped watching it because it was not uh, to my liking anymore it got really boring and X-Files like and X-Files I mean if he's copying X-Files fuck it man and this dimension business is just too confusing and uh, it's I mean it's getting a bit too ah I'm not sure I just don't want to watch the whole damn thing or the fourth season god knows I don't care right, actually and it's the whole cast of uh, Gundam Seed uh, you have the nice Miria with her big breasts and if you see the prologues or opening theme songs you always see her in the background as a seal hood of her big gigantic breasts and this one is a picture of all the main casts of Gundam Seed and their respective mechas destroyed beyond repair. Uh, we have Af Azran Salar and uh, I don't know at the back here. I think it's the Justice with the very very unique strike uh, fighter at the back. And uh, this is the Unicorn Horn, which is always uh, prevalent in most of Aslan Salar's. Gundams and this is the air Ocean uh, something something an orb guy who hates everything almost like an angry uh, angry Shin Shin what uh, what's for the Evangelion uh, forgot already uh, what's the word in Japanese for bravery or courage that's the guy's name, the Evangelion 01 unit. I forgot what's his name. As no, not Asuka. Uh, brain freeze. Oh, God damn it. I can't remember. Ah, oh, fuck it. So, this is a fucking asshole. I don't know whether it's a bad guy or a good guy, but the uh, Gundam Seed Destiny really left a sour taste in my mouth. I don't know whether it's because of the VCD, VCD quality or the subs is, uh, uh, the subtitles which were like really really bad because it's translated directly from Chinese uh, oh my god the, the subtitles were cra uh, terrible but thank god uh, because of Baka BT I got a nice high quality uh, re remade or remastered version of Gundam Destiny hopefully my uh, viewing of that would change my taste of Gundam Destiny, even though I doubt it. So, and we have our uh, lovely hero here, Kira Yamato, with his. Uh, uh, I think this is Strike. I don't know whether it's a Freedom or the Strike Freedom. So, well. And here we have that asshole Sh uh, Asuka. Shin Asuka, is it? I'm not sure. Shin something. Uh, this is the Destiny Gundam, which I have. Uh, the 1 hour 100 full burst mode Gundam uh, yeah I have this one uh, I don't know when I'm gonna like start doing it most likely in a couple of months or a couple of years so um, looks I mean I really don't like the de design but uh, once I put it together maybe I'll grow to love it because when you look at the inner frame and whatever and uh, you put more effort into it by coloring everything else uh, the inner frame especially which is speaking out you tend to love what you what you have created so oh you're sorry uh, this is not Gundam related but uh, I've been like uh, I want to talk about this uh, she is Rio, or formerly known as, uh, or commonly known when she just came out in the 
audio video industry uh, she, her name is Tina Yuzuki and she looks very pretty and cute when she was starting when she was very young but now she doesn't look I mean as cute as before she looks more mature but I prefer the one when she was still a teenager uh, it's very hard to find torrents of her work uh, there are not many in kickass dot uh, tm or t uh, what was that uh, i don't know where which country kickass is in now so uh, it's very hard to find her work uh, or works uh, and she has done a lot a lot i mean you can see on her face that i mean doing that work it really ages somebody i mean happiness do tend to make one's life shorter so uh, if you ever 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 like Rio or Tina Yuzuki's work do try to download it there are some sites which uh, use uh, Rio share rapid uh, gator uh, upload whatever and all those uh, services where they where you have to like download every part yourself oh god I almost forgot Shit, I'm supposed to download more. Uh, let's see, let's see. Rapid Gator, Rusher, Net Load, and Upload. Uh, let me see. Do I have this one? 8340. Hmm. Uh, do I have this one? Number 1. Zero, zero, two, 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 number 1. Hmm. Nope, I don't have that one. Net load uh, one and maybe two as well. No, no give me four. Give me two here. Oh shit! Net load already have. One I don't have. Huh? Hmm. So the only uh, sad part of downloading it little by little is uh, you have to wait some time and there's a download limit. Eh? And zero zero two is already exists. Exists where? Ah, oh, I already have that zero zero two. God damn it! Oh, shit. One four one. One two three four uh, four uh, one the if I can extract it or not. Hmm. Uh, cancel. Hmm. 